Next, I'm off to meet Declan Brady and his two beautiful Great Danes who are heading for Crufts this year. So Declan, tell us, where did the love of Great Danes begin? Um, about 15 years ago, it was we actually my wife persuaded me to get her first dog, which was a lab, and that was okay. And then she says, Declan, I'd like another dog, uh, something a little bit bigger. And I asked, what had she in mind? And uh, a Great Dane. I had no idea what she <laughs> had installed for me, but we ended up getting Zeus, our black Great Dane, and th that's where it came from. Talk to us. I mean, did you have any experience with Great Danes or large dogs before this? Large dogs, no. Uh, English pointers, that's as big a dog as I'd handle. I mean, I grew up with terriers as well and Springer Spaniels, but nothing like Great Danes. No, nothing, nothing at all. So Declan, I mean, your lovely wife Michelle said to you, let's get a big dog. Great Danes was what she had in mind. I'm sure you went on the internet and you started to look them up. Well, it was 15 years ago, so there wasn't that much of internet uh, in use, but uh, we just looked around and as it happened, we ended up getting the dog actually quite f close by, uh, even for a manor just across the, across the way from us. So. Um, and the dog we got was Zeus. So tell us about Zeus, your first Great Dane. Uh, Zeus was uh, a black Great Dane and very big, lovable dog. He, Funny enough, he's actually featured in television a couple of times. He's actually a few seconds on Podge and Raj uh, when they were filming here in Cavan years ago. And we also met a co we, <laughs> we have a love for making films and stuff like that. And we actually uh, met an advert on uh, his Vodafone for winning credit. And <laughs> he actually won a laptop for me and uh, the phones as well. So <laughs> he's done quite well <laughs> for us. He was a lucky dog. Dog. I mean, Great Danes live for how long, Declan? The usual age for Great Danes would be between six and eight years. So, Declan, when did you lose Zeus? I lost Zeus about four years last November, so it is. But that didn't stop your love of Great Danes. No, we had another Great Dane with Zeus, so even when he was about a few years old, we bought another Great Dane, Boris, where our intentions was to show him, and we had a lot of success with Boris uh, locally shows, you know, Virginia show, we won that, and did well in all Ireland shows, actually came more placed uh, in third, I think two years running, and he's we became quite well known locally for Boris and showing him. So, so that maybe inspired you guys to go a little further with the Great Danes. Talk to us about Crufts. Well, that's it. Uh, Boris g gave us a taste for showing, but you have to have the correct papers for the dog to be able to uh, enter into Crufts and special shows. And uh, we ended up buying Zion, the the brindle. Great Dane, and that was our plan to uh, attempt to get on to Crufts and show him, and he's made all our aspirations come true. Tell us about Crufts. I mean, this would have been a, a new experience for you. Of course, you were showing locally, but talk to us about the, 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 I suppose, the fun and the, I suppose, the excitement, but the nerves that would surround a show like Crufts. Well, Crufts, you get two opportunities in this country to uh, qualify each year. Uh, one's in Dublin uh, in St. Patrick's Day, and there's another one in Belfast. Now, as it happened, we qualified Zion in Belfast and uh, literally when you qualify then you have to uh, go to Birmingham NEC and it's runs it's the biggest show got dog show in the world really um, and what do you have to do to qualify you have to it's a competition you have to show the dogs against other dog uh, show Zion for example a Great Dane against other Great Danes now of course you're actually you have two dogs that are qualified for Crofts at this at this time who is your second dog that's qualified the our other dog is uh, Zach we call him um, his Full, uh, Zion's full kennel name is uh, Phenomenon Take It Easy at Zudain. We ourselves is the kennel name is that we chose Zudain after the but Zeus passed. But Zach's full name is uh, uh, Garsax or Zachary uh, at Zudain. Right now, I mean it's exciting times because you're into the run in two Crofts again this year. Talk to us about 2015 and heading over to Crofts. Well, just before I say that, uh, both our dogs are very fortunate. They've actually competed and won uh, that they're actually qualified for life. For Crufts, they actually uh, gain their stud title, uh, stud dog title, and because of that, it means we can go every year we want to. I mean, Zach has been very fortunate. The, the other dog I mentioned, the fawn fella, he is actually um, he's a Celtic junior champion and he's a junior champion as well. But he also has a stud book number, so he's uh, literally can we can bring him every year. Um, so Declan, are you heading over to Crufts this year then? That's the plan. We have both dogs, and we intend to uh, compete with both of them in their various categories. Uh. Talk to us about maintaining and caring 
going for a great day and what is the daily routine? Well for me we feed the dogs three times a day um, it's uh, despite the size Great Danes they are basically house dogs um, as you can see through the house <laughs> they're very comfortable in it and uh, it's a case of uh, I, as I say I feed them three times a day and uh, very light gentle exercise because the you their danger is to actually damage their uh, joints if you over exercise them uh, and you can easily hurt them but so it's just ge gentle exercise often well Declan we here at Irish TV wish you and Zach and Zion the best luck in this year's Crofts Crofts 2015 and you'll let us know how you get on absolutely thank you very much Well, it's time to...